welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jamie, and this is my not a reaction channel. Uh, I'm doing a fragrance review today. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just I, I wanted to pop in and drop a little a little something to kind of hold everybody over. 2024, I'm coming in fast and hard. That's what she said. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I, this isn't going to be a fancy production or anything. I'm not going to go okay, all in on this. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I have a lot of editing. Wait, wait, this, this, this right here. No, 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 no. He's lying. I, I should know because he is me. And I am going to do editing. I'm, as you already seen, I'm doing top-notch stuff for you. Because you deserve it. And I appreciate you. Stick trap, get clapped. This is just a, a quick little, you know, I'm gonna drop a little holiday, little, little gifts here and there. Um, not not really. Uh, I, I'm gonna drop a, a couple little things just to kinda show appreciation for the fact that some of you stick around and there's some new people. And I, I appreciate all, all of you, everyone who, whatever you do, whatever in, in whatever capacity you support the channel or watch or don't. I. I appreciate you regardless. But so today, uh, we're gonna be looking at a few winter fragrances. If you want something that's gonna smell good, it's gonna perform, it's gonna cut through the cold and not gonna break the bank, but smell like you did, I got you covered today. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at some dupes, some like under $30 bangers that are, are good for tis the season. You know what I mean? Like merry, happy holiday solstice and Christmas. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you want to, I don't, I, it, it, well, I, I don't judge, you, I believe and celebrate what you want or feel, whatever makes you happy and complete as a person, I, I support it, Conda, or not, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't care, I, I'm just, I'm just here on YouTube doing this and thankful for you guys, hey, you people. All right, so first up, this is uh, we're gonna we're gonna look at this. Some other influencers and reviewers. Uh, I, I'm not an influencer or, or really a, a credible reviewer, but other people on the YouTube have uh, talked about this. This is from the house Latafa. It's a Middle Eastern house. Um, they're infamous for a lot of their clones and having good quality clones, I may add. But this is Amir Al Oud Intense, and this, this cap is kind of kind of weighty. It's a nice cap, and uh, this is supposed to. Some people have said that this is, uh, you know, a good cologne of Mason Margella by the fireplace, which I personally do not get. Um, same vibe, sure, yeah, but kind of like in the same way that Versace Oud Noir and Tom Ford Oud Wood, like in the dry down, kind of have the same vibe. Smell nothing alike really, but kind of the same vibe. It's kind of the, the way it is with this. Like, I see the similarities. Like, I could see why some people might in the dry down possibly be like, oh yeah, it reminds me of By the Fireplace a little, but not really. This is more, it, it's, this has got, and By the Fireplace, it doesn't really smell oody to me at all. This does, but more of a synthetic, it's not the barnyard kind of oud. Um, it's very synthetic, but it's still very woody, sweet, not super sweet, uh, just a little sweet, but uh, it's not as smoky as By the Fireplace. But it's in, I, personally, I think this is better. It definitely performs better. The longevity, the projection, everything. Um, it, you know, it is an um, eau de parfum concentration. So it, it's, it's, it's good. Um, I love this, personally. Uh, I, I, for under $30 on Amazon, like, I think it might have even been under $25 U.S., on Amazon, this is worth picking up. Um, this will get you noticed. So next up, this I, I you know I've seen this one reviewed quite a few times as well. Um, 
And this is from the Middle Eastern House Al Haramain. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, this is called Detour Noir. This is another one. Like this bottle is absolutely atrocious. I like the top of the lid just because it looks like this black onyx, but it's it's not. It's just cheap plastic. The lid, it looks metal. Very, very light, cheap plastic. It feels... I hate this bottle. I think this is like the ugliest bottle. The presentation is just horrific to me. Oh, but the smell. Okay, so if you're familiar with Layton from Parfums to Marley, uh, this is that. If somebody walked past me after they sprayed this on and I did not know that it was not Parfums to Marley, I would think, I'd be like, oh, somebody's got on Layton. This, I, yeah, for under $30 on Amazon, if you want to smell like that, because Layton is not cheap. Even the 75 ml bottle is not cheap. Uh, you know, if you buy it full retail, even at discounter, I don't, well, I don't even know if it's available at discount. I mean, yeah, no, there's a couple of sites that have it at a, at a fairly reasonable price, but then again, reasonable is subjective. Uh, so the notes in Parfume de Marley, which are probably, actually, let me, you know what, let's see. All right, so Detour Noir has the majority of the same notes um, as Parfums de Marley Layton. I can't attest to the quality of the ingredients. I doubt they're sourced from the same place, but um, smell-wise, you know, in, in the top you've got jasmine, apple, lavender, violet, uh, middle you got vanilla, bergamot, patchouli, mandarin orange, and then in the base you got sandalwood, cardamom, pepper, geranium, and guyac wood, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But yeah, it smells like Layton. So there's that. Under $30. Sweet, full body banger. You can really wear it anytime. But winter, it's going to shine. Um, so next up, this little beauty, this cocktail intense. Look at this bottle. Like this is, this is pretty cool. This is uh, from Fragrance World, and this is supposed to be a dupe of Angel Share by Killian, which is another pretty expensive uh, fragrance. And the cap on this is plastic. The the bottle's glass, of course. But oh my God, this one you in the air. Oh, so good. So, basically, the note breakdown on this, you know, the top note, the most prevalent is going to be cognac. Then, in the mid, you got cinnamon and tonka bean and cedar. Or, no, oak. I'm sorry. And then, in the base notes, you got praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. So, this is just a really, it's basically a gourmand. It's, it, it smells almost like, like a warm pie. Um, and, and a little bit boozy though. It smells like a boozy warm pie. That makes sense. Like if you smell it on somebody as they're walking by, you're gonna, your nose is going to follow them and you're going to want to go wherever they're going because you think you're about to sit down to some fancy feast or something. I don't know. Uh, it's delicious. Smelling. It smells delicious. It smells like it would probably taste good uh, if that makes any sense. But for under $30 on Amazon, uh, Fragrance World, Cocktail Intense, you cannot go wrong. Definitely a perfect winter, like, date fancy fragrance. Last but not least, and uh, definitely one of my personal favorites, this is from Mason Alhambra, which I believe is a subsidiary of uh, Latafa. This is Tobacco Touch. Um... It does look like a Tom Ford bottle. This is supposed to be a dupe of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille or Vanille, however you want to pronounce it. I don't, I don't know the correct, correct pronunciation, but this, um, it's a plastic cap, but heavy, heavy weighty bottle. Ah, oh, so, so good. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the notes in this. So basically in this, you know, we got tobacco leaf real prevalent in the top. We got 
in the mid uh, vanilla cacao cocoa how, cacao how do you pronounce that uh, tonka bean tobacco blossom and then in the base we got dried fruits and woody notes uh, it almost smells kind of clovey to me a little incensey almost it smells like some kind of holiday fruit basket in the lobby uh, of a fancy hotel at Christmas time that's that's what it smells like to me it just smells like some kind of Christmas concoction in a bottle uh, like all of the, the, the nostalgia and memories of like the best things to happen during the holiday foods and fruits and just all the, the I, it's beautiful it, it is a beautiful fragrance to me I love this it, it's very it smells a little bit like a chai latte or yeah a little bit a little bit it smells very it smells like chai I love it I love this the performance on all of these is stellar it is out of this world um, all of them I you know I, I can't the projection the longevity the siage you know they all perform exceptionally well especially at the price point that they're coming in at you can get any of them on Amazon for under $30 US right now um, they're all great for winter uh, people are gonna notice you with any of them so you're not breaking the bank but you're gonna smell like it as I said earlier um, yeah I don't want to put put any of these on a percentage scale a lot of people be like oh this is you know 90% similar to you know whatever it's trying to, to emulate or copy or whatever uh, you know I don't like to do that because like you know my 90% might be someone else's like 97% or someone else's like 70% it's all subjective like but again as I was saying I, I can't percentage on you know how close it is because like any of these like with the exception of this one because I don't think it's a clone but the other three, as far as what they're supposed to be, um, you know, copying, if I smelled any of those three in the air on somebody walking by and that person told me that, I asked them what they were and they told me the name of the original, I would have no reason not to believe them. I would smell it and think that I was smelling the original. That's how close they are. So whatever percentage you want to say that is, 95.72 what 97 92.8 I don't I don't know I don't care they smell amazing they perform well they're at a killer price point it's basically a steal they're all eau de parfum concentrations um yeah do yourself a favor and give yourself a winter treat uh in the meantime you know I, like I said, I just wanted to let you know I got stuff coming. Um, I'm, I'm going to be doing some stuff on some other channels as well. So be on the lookout for that. I'll, I'll keep you all posted. Be looking out for shorts because I'll kind of give you some updates with some shorts. Uh, but thank you for everyone who has stuck around and who has just been like waiting and wondering like where I am and if I'm coming back or, uh, you know, who's everyone who's been behind the scenes and you know talking to me on my social medias which are all linked in the description there's gonna be a bunch of other cool stuff linked in the description so uh hop on down there and you know leave me some comments let's talk uh thank you you know share me with your friends and family let's uh you know bring bring more people into the moral militia for 2024 because we're about to rock out hard um but in the meantime you know i gotta go <laughs>